Hi, Gertrude. What have you been doing lately? Well, Mike, I'll tell you. It's been an interesting couple of weeks. I've been consulting on a Navy research study about how online war games could be used to harness the power of crowdsourcing and distributed innovation. Maybe it's because I'm only a fish, but I don't understand how that could work. Well, the idea is that if you make a game to get a lot of different people thinking about a problem in military policy, strategy, or tactics, they might come up with useful new ideas. But the Navy is really smart. Haven't they already figured everything out? Why would they need new ideas about strategies or tactics? Haven't you heard about Joy's Law? No matter where you work, a lot of the smartest people work somewhere else. Plus, distributed innovation studies have shown that groundbreaking and radical ideas often come from people who work in the periphery of a research area. So it's important to find a good way to entice these outsiders to think about your problems. Not only do you have to pull people in, you have to get them to talk to each other about their ideas. Oh, I get it. That's why it has to be a game, so people will want to play. Exactly. Part of the question is how to make the game fun and appealing to a wide audience. And part of the question is how to make sure that the game inspires the kind of interactive brainstorming that makes great ideas happen. That sounds a little tricky. Yeah, there's a lot to consider. So I had to write a whole long report. But the main idea is to make it fun. Focus on the creative challenge and make sure that community discussion of ideas is built right into the gameplay. But enough about me. What have you been doing lately? Oh, I've been playing SF0 again. Right now, I'm working on making a giant hat made out of plastic grocery bags. Do you want to help? Sure. I love hats. <laughs>